Our next guest, uh, a friend of Baofan, he has known the executive for 20 years. He's also fresh off a meeting with the Biden administration about the U.S. strategy regarding China. James McGregor, the chairman of Greater China for Consultancy, APCO Worldwide, joins me now. James, thanks so much for being with me. And, and, and let's start right there with this disappeared banker. Uh, you say you've known him well. Uh, walk me through what is potentially happening here, especially when you think about the fact that in the past handful of years, we've seen a number of high-profile Chinese businessmen and executives disappear or go missing, uh, many of them to, to show up again, again later, but, but maybe not in the same type of powerful financial position that they were to start with. Yes, uh, let me start with Bao Fan. Bao Fan may be the best-liked, the best-known um, person in the financial community in China. All the journalists know him. Everybody in finance knows him. He's known to be a straight shooter. Um, he's well liked. He's got a lot of integrity. I would be shocked if he's got anything going on, any kind of corruption. You know, the, the president of his um, of, of his group company was detained in September uh, for supposedly for securities violations. Um, so the hope is that Balfon has been, you know, what they do when they're doing these things, they grab people and bring them in and um, detain them for a few days and question them. And then, if you know, if it's just there to be part of the investigation, they let him go. You know, the, the, the chairman of uh, uh, Fosun in 2015, this happened to him. It was headlines all over the world because he was known as China's Warren Buffett. He showed mm -hmm. up four days later. So um, let's hope that that's, that's what happens with Bao Fan. Now, um, the larger, the larger uh, picture of this, I mean, the, the, the party has taken a hammer and sickle to the uh, private enterprise in the last 10 years. And they've gone after a lot of corrupt people. They've actually gone after people that have, um, people that are, you know, running big conglomerates, whether it's the tech platforms or it's the real estate companies. They don't want money to have power. They don't want capital to have power. So they're trying to put all these people in their place. They want people to make money, but they want them to carry out what the party wants. They don't want them doing games. They want them doing chips. They want them doing uh, new materials. So uh, it's, um, it's, a, it's a brave new world out there doing business in China. Yeah, and I'm sure if you're a CEO of a multinational company, maybe an American CEO or CEO from another part of the world uh, who's maybe considering coming to China uh, to visit operations for the first time since before the pandemic even, uh, you're looking at all of this and trying to, trying to game out the risk uh, of what a visit right now between the situation as, situations like this domestically and then also the fact that you do have these tensions between the U.S. and China um, most recently because of this surveillance balloon, uh, playing out what that looks like. How would you advise CEOs who maybe are looking to come in the coming weeks and visit China right now? You know, I think too much is being made of the security issue. I think, uh, I think CEOs, American CEOs with big business in China, are in more political danger in Washington for, for uh, their business in China than they are, um, you know, any kind of personal or security danger in China. China has pivoted. Now, whether it, this is genuine long-term or it's tactical because their economy is doing so bad, they are being very nice to foreign business. Um, uh, party secretaries are visiting multinationals. Uh, the American Chamber of Commerce in Beijing has, um, and they can't keep up with the schedule of meetings with officials who want to talk to them and be nice. So I doubt if any any uh, CEO going to China is going to be in any danger right now. But Washington's a different story. I mean, there's a lot of people in Washington who don't think a big American company should be doing business in China, which you know I don't agree with. But um, the, you know the far right in uh, Washington has that attitude. What is it like to do, and if you're a CEO who is coming in and, and working, you know, has an operation in China, what is it like to do business in China? Um, how do you navigate those dynamics, given the fact that it is a very different economy, it is a very different political structure than it is in other parts of the world? Well, you know, we've, you know, I lived there 30 years, right? And I mm -hmm. saw the rise and the openness and China welcoming foreign business. And really, it, what it's kind of been is you're, uh, there's two kinds of companies uh, and foreign companies in China today. Those that need China and those that China needs, because China's market is a huge power for them. And so if, if you have technology or, or know-how or 
things that can help grow their economy, you're going to have opportunities in China. But if you need China, they're going to try to use that leverage. So it's a, it's a much more hard, comp, uh, complicated situation than it used to be. And so companies have to have both eyes open. The thing is, if they're not in, if you know, you can't not be there is kind of the equation. Because if, if you're not there, Samsung is, is there, Siemens is there, the Europeans are there, the Japanese are there, the Koreans are there. And if you don't, if, if you don't make it in China, you may not make it globally because that market is, that's where the growth is. That's important. It's also a place where innovation is. A lot of companies use China to innovate. Um, uh, manufacturing people are doing a lot of innovation in artificial intelligence now in China because China moves at China's speed. So it is it is very complicated. The dark politics are, are it's true, um, uh, important. Um, and then you got the market. We've never been in this situation. This is a whole new world.